Hey guys, I'm Karen. And I'm Sylvester. And I'm Aiden. And we've been RVing for about a year now. So we, we rented an RV for the first time. We loved it. And when we got back, we decided to sell the house and just buy RV and go full time. I started a blog about three years ago about travel and um, it's called The Mom Trotter. And that's what we're able to do while we travel full time. And these are RV pro tips for road schooling. So we have a seven-year-old, his name's Aiden, and he's always been homeschooled from, you know, since he was little, because yeah. I believe that as his mom and dad, we are his best teachers. Okay. Um, and when we bought an RV, we transitioned to road schooling, which has been really amazing for him so far. Um, we do a lot of learning in the RV. We do a lot of like, you know, YouTube and learning websites, and then he can get out in the open and then, you know, learn about what he sees in person. Every day is so different. There's no typical day for us. Um, every day just offers a new opportunity for us to learn and for Aiden to learn as well. So my number one advice for parents who are looking to travel and road school their kids is just go with the flow. Things are gonna be different. You know, things are gonna happen on the road. Don't be so set on a schedule that when things change, you know, it becomes kind of hard. Just learn as you go. And you're gonna make mistakes and that's okay. Uh, but you're gonna figure out the hang of things because it's so different for everybody. On schooling has been such an amazing experience for us as a family and for Aiden too because he gets to learn as he goes. So what we do is that we foster his natural interest. So we just let him naturally, you know, gravitate to his things that he's interested in. And as his parents, we just kind of help him and guide him through those things and answer the questions that he has. If I'm watching a video on finance, he'll ask me finance questions. And this is not something that he would be learning if he was in school at this age. Children are learning even when you don't see it. So if you don't see your child actively writing or doing something, doesn't mean they're not learning. Electronics are also a good way that children are able to learn. So one of the most important things to have while road schooling is internet. Having a secure, good, strong internet connection is very important to us. We have a hotspot so we're able to have internet, you know, at any time that we need to. There are several programs that we use while uh, road schooling Aiden. Um, some of my favorites are Reading Eggs. Math Seeds and Moby Max. So they offer learning on the go. Um, Aiden logs on and he's able to watch videos there, do quizzes, answer questions, and he's able to do that at his own time. So when it comes to, to unschooling like we do, one of my favorite resources is the Alliance for Self-Directed Education. If you want to unschool your kids, um, you can go on there for tips. My blog as well, themomtrotter.com, I share a lot of unschooling tips and about how we're able to handle things and how we keep Aiden up to date and learning as we go. So one of the ways that Aiden, you know, passes time while on the road is he loves to watch one of his favorite shows, it's called Wild Crats, where he can learn about animals. It's a learning show and um, he watched it, he learned about snakes one time and then he was able to tell us that the snake was venomous or non-venomous from basically watching that show. During long drives, we prioritize learning by reading. We do a lot of reading. I feel like that's the best way to pass time. Um, Aiden usually grabs a book and he'll read it or I'll read it with him and then we'll answer questions. When it comes to, you know, like homeschooling and road schooling, the laws are so different in every state. So make sure that you're aware of what your state requires. For us, we don't have any requirements. Um, testing is not an option for us, so we don't do it. Um, I don't feel like I need to test Aiden. I have, you know, given him some work to do. Right now he's seven and he's able to handle third grade work. However, we don't do any state testing or anything else like that. As Aiden's parents, we're very involved in his learning. Um, I love that with his dad, remember, you guys are able to change the oil and yes. do more handiwork, which I think is really nice because Aiden's not just learning, you know, like schoolwork and writing and reading, but he's changing the oil. He knows how to empty the RV tanks. And to be honest with you, that's something that I don't even know how to do yet. But Aiden knows how to do it, and he's even teaching me. When it comes to me, Aiden loves to cook, so Aiden and I are always in the kitchen cooking something. So I feel like there's so much to learn, and we're like 100% involved because we're with him all the time. So to see Aiden be able to do those things and learn this way, honestly, brings us so much joy. It does. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm so proud of Aiden and all that he's learned from, you know, about money and finance and about how he wants to save money and, you know, buy stocks and invest it. Yeah. It's so amazing to see him learn so much. Like he knows so much more than, you know, we did at his age. And honestly, this is like one of the best things about unschooling. Want to see more RV influencer pro tips? Make sure to check it out on Camping World's YouTube channel.